All right, we're here. First snowball. How did I Ah, we Wait, finally made it. What a journey. This is something we're going to have to, we're going to have to really break this one down. Yeah. Like on how we got here. How we got here. But first, let's back up a bit. Over the past two days, it's been nothing short of surreal. For the first time ever in my 22 years of living, my family has had the opportunity to travel overseas together. Now, going on this trip, I really didn't know what to expect or how things would play out. But looking back at all the times we spent together over the past 48 hours, both the good and the more challenging times made us closer in life of the spark for exploring together we will take with us back home and i'm glad we do have that spark now because it's not over yet the biggest challenge we face still lies ahead leaving paris and tackling on the journey to sas Fay, switzerland in our way is an early morning nine sets of luggage when you include all the new things purchased eight tired people three trains a bus that we still don't have tickets for and no cars and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Now, of course, we're popping into the video to break everything down for you. Ultimately, at the end of the day, we just want to give you everything you need. So if you were to travel to Paris or Switzerland, you'd be able to do so successfully with knowing what to expect. So if you, it's your dream to go to one of these locations, we hope that this video helps you out. So the night before we had a family dinner at Faraday. This is the restaurant that like Kim Kardashian, like Kanye West, a lot of celebrities that go to this restaurant to try like the cheeseburger. Like it's supposed to be the best cheeseburger in Paris. But on this day, our reservation was at like 1030. So by then they had to run out of the cheeseburger, which was kind of a good thing because we were able to try a couple different things on the menu. But it was, it was good y'all. It was very, very good, but we didn't try the cheeseburger. So we can't tell you about that one. <laughs> yeah, then get to check the cheeseburger out but we finally got to go there so yeah popped to the spot and at the night we had a good time it was our last night in paris so we went by the eiffel tower so that led us to the next morning where we're headed to sas Fay, switzerland but it's situated in the mountains super high up in elevation so getting from like the city of paris to a whole nother country and then to sas Faye, Sass Fee is pretty difficult. So the morning started early. We woke up around 5 a.m. and we took a train from Paris to Zurich. That was our first stop. Once we went to Zurich, we had to transfer trains through what's called a Swiss train pass. So it basically gives you all day access to the Switzerland transportation system, which gave us access to our next location, which was Visp. After the train ride from Zurich to Vis, we had to take a bus to Sas Fay, which we didn't have tickets for. We just got them at the train station. Mm -hmm. So buses come every 15 or 30 minutes, and that's how we got to the actual town of Sas Fay. It's nothing you can just fly into. You can drive probably by taxi, it might take you eight to 10 hours, but we felt like train was the easiest route getting from the city of Paris. But when we get to the town or when you get to Sas Fay or whatever, you can't drive into it. It, so they're gonna drop you off at like the bus stop which is like right outside of the town so they have like these electric type little bussy things yeah it's pretty it's <laughs> well, crazy you guys will see in the video but it's really really crazy it was super cool and we did a lot of walking when we were there because it's like the best way to get around honestly Shower. Are you supposed to take a shower before? Uh, after. Oh, wow. Hot tub out here. Wow, this is so freaking nice. Overall, already 10 out of 10 Airbnb because, like, this is bomb. They literally have everything you could ever want in, like, a cabin. So nice. All right, we're here. First snowball. How do you think this snow ah! <laughs> First snowball. Welcome. This is how you enter into Don't throw it at me. I don't have a jacket. 
We finally made it. What a journey. This is something we're going to have to... We're going to have to really break this one down. Yeah. Like on how we got here. How we got here. It's breathtaking. It's breathtaking. First piece going in. Oh! So for our experiences, I really wanted to like look at the location and like choose activities like based on the location. So Sass Bay is a skiing town, so I really wanted to do a like ski lesson. So I ended up booking it through this company called Eskimos and they were very, very accommodating. We did have a large group of people, which I thought would be difficult to work with, but honestly, they are really great at breaking everything down. And the person that I talked to or like just their customer service in general was like very good on community because we made a couple changes throughout the trip and like they were just on it so as soon as we got there we went and picked up our rental equipment and everything and they have like a shop that they work with it was called Caesar Sports so it's like Eskimos with Caesar Sports and they work together you also get a discount if you like book it through them but we did a two-day lesson and then a two-day rental which if you already know how to ski you don't have to pay for the lesson but we <laughs> didn't know how to ski we didn't know what we were doing so uh, we ended up getting the two-day lesson and in that two-day period we literally learned so much as you guys like watch the videos you can see like we literally made so much progress and honestly by day three we were like able to go on our own which was really really cool so definitely we'll be skiing again in the future but overall i'm so glad that sass bay is like where we learned like where i learned how to ski like i think that's so cool to say so in Sass Bay, we had an Airbnb. So a lot of the times we were cooking because we had a kitchen. One of the restaurants that we did go to, it was a cafe. And we went here like every single morning because they had really good like chai tea, like some of the best that I ever had. And then we would get like the waffles with the cherries on top. It was good, y'all. And it was also every on the way to the slope. So we would literally walk to the slope, stop, get our breakfast, and then keep going. I don't think they have the most options in the world because it's it's a smaller town. It's a small town. They so, had a couple restaurants. So they, we just they have didn't enough. really try them. Them. We yeah. just didn't try them. So we had the Airbnb, which we were allowed to cook in. So mm -hmm. we basically cooked all of our meals at an amazing grocery store. So we had all that we needed. Having a place to stay with the option to cook, definitely a plus. So we did go to the tallest restaurant in the world, rotating restaurant yeah, in the world. The highest rotating. It's over our experience there was great. It was good being able to see all of Sass Fay and then of course other countries just because you're so high. So I think that's an experience of a lifetime. And if you're there, that's something that we do recommend. It is a little bit bit pricey just to actually get to there get there yeah we had to get on like two of the gondolas gondola ride yeah. then we had to go up like a get on a train that goes through the mountain yeah and then we had to walk up some stairs <laughs> it was a lot like, to get there it took 45 minutes yeah to actually get to the top of the mountain yeah. and you're already it's high like, kind of like exercise too yeah, like it's it not is. just you sitting and riding that was a fun experience so in addition to skiing that's probably something else that you want to add to your bucket list mm -hmm. those are things that we did and we want to share them with you guys so maybe you can check them out too Hi, Bob. Hi, describe Sass Bay is that it's literally like one of those Hallmark Christmas towns that you see like it's, yeah. it's like a movie like it's snowy it's like there's cute little houses like hills it's very very beautiful yeah and that's what we wanted like that's kind of how we found it just mm -hmm. by looking up places like that so thinking back to it I'm truly grateful to have the opportunity and I hope this video provides someone else the opportunity to have a successful trip as well I mm -hmm. think it's really cool that we're able to document it and like help you guys but then also like have this to look back on and like mm -hmm. show our children i think it's a great way to store memories and i saw this thing on tiktok about it it just made me like realize that that's like so cool because it's like a place where you have all your files like all your videos laid out for you and you just go back and it'll be there forever you know yeah. what i mean so i think that's really cool and i think going to these places as well is not just us going i think through every action that we take or video that we post mm -hmm. we may inspire someone to be able to pick up a camera and film themselves so yeah i think that's our mission with the the whole thing while we get to ex experience and film it from our point of view if this ever inspired someone to go to sas Faye and film from their point of view then i feel like that's a job well done and we thank you guys for the opportunity to be able to do that every sunday you have my word see yeah. you guys next sunday thank you guys so much for watching definitely 
definitely join our YouTube family. Building we, a family. We just changed our, you just changed our bio. We're building a family. We're trying to do better at building community, like where you yeah. guys can come along with us. As we like get older and progress through our life, we yeah. want to take you guys along with us. And I feel like there's been people like have, who have been down from, from the beginning and like love y'all. Like y'all are the best. Yeah, it, it doesn't get and, old. It yeah, doesn't get old. It doesn't. I'm over the moon about everybody who watches these videos. Definitely. So love y'all. So see you in the next one and I don't know. Peace. We'll see you in the next video.